today's episode, getting very little done was a home run. Okay, so we are going to get into this Camaro today, and there's a few things that need to be done to get to the rest of the lot of things that need to be done. So what we have is a vehicle that somebody prior to us had their hands on, maybe had an issue with getting the car started. We're left to believe that maybe something to do with the VATS key, which is the security system, the chip key for this car. Um, and someone tried to override it. So what we have is direct wiring for the fuel pump, which is right now located on the wheelhouse of the inner fender of the uh, driver's side. And then all these yellow, purple, blue, and red wires that look nice and fresh that are direct wired to the fuel pump, the starter, the battery and the distributor for the ignition and then we move inside the car we can see the same pattern it's underneath the dash here where they have some switches hooked up where we can turn on independently the fuel pump the ignition right and have a button for the starter as well and then another switch here for the electric fan the cooling fan up front uh, in front of the radiator behind the radiator whichever way you're looking at it so what we're going to do is we're going to chase these wires through the firewall and bring everything back up front here to where actually you'll have to start the car from under the hood but this will allow us to eliminate this mess so we can concentrate on the factory wiring harness and start backtracking backtracking is that what we're doing it's football season i feel like punting <laughs> punting woody woody's going to drop back and punt but before we get started with that to make our lives easier to work on the car we are actually going to remove the hood okay we may get into dismantling some of the dash today we'll see how it goes we'll see how far we get and the possibility of where we left off last time of putting this thing up on ramps in the back and giving it a good pressure washing so that we can work on the fuel system here uh, very soon. So that's where we are, and that's how we're going to attack this today. I think. What do you think? I think my hand's too big and that's hot. That's hot? Uh huh. Oh. Chipmunk bit me. So the next thing we're going to do is get right after getting this hood off again, it's going to give us a little bit more uh, clearance to get under the hood and, and do some work right near the cowl and the firewall. Uh, so what it is entailed to remove this hood, it's really nothing to it at all. We're dealing with two, can't see, where is it, where is it, there you go, two 10 millimeter bolts on the front and rear side of the hinge on both sides. So it's a piece of cake. So we're going to get our 10 millimeter out and get to work. I got my 10 millimeter. Boy, that's a Phillips head. Damn it. Junior said it was a 10 millimeter. Nuh uh. So anytime you're working with a project, um, you just never know what you're going to run into. So we just ran into a problem. We'll call it a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. Well, mm, a little bit of a problem. So before you get to hacking here, oh, I gotta get we went seat. to the we went to the passenger side hood bolts. And yes, that one right there was a 10 millimeter. And then you get back here, it's hard to see, sorry. 7 sixteenths, but that was, that's fine. We have 7 sixteenths socket. But then we figured out there's a hole cut in the hood right here. And some genius put a nut in behind this. So basically have altered and wrecked this perfectly good hood to do some kind of some kind of jerry rig 
nonsense. So Woody's gonna get in here with the grinder. I like some of other people's problems. <laughs> and we're gonna cut this bolt because we're not gonna mess with trying to get a wrench back there, so. Here we go. So after a few minutes of disconnecting some uh, switches. God, you're such a liar, it's been an hour. <laughs> we got the switches out of under the dash. So we've got the fuel pump, we've got the fan motor switch, the ignition kill switch, and Woody's got the uh, starter switch, starter button in his hand right now. So we pulled everything out of the car and down here somewhere near the brake booster is a hole in the firewall where we just pulled all this mess out so we could kind of clean up the engine compartment a little bit and make things a little bit easier on us trying to diagnose the factory harness this is just a start we you know this is gonna be a long process and, and it's gonna be a little bit of a headache I think at the end of the day but you know this is something we're willing to tackle so we're gonna get a little bit further into this we're gonna reconnect these uh, these switches over here you're gonna be an outside starter car. Right? So, yeah, so we'll essentially be starting the car from the outside, no big deal. But it does clear up a lot of space under the uh, dash, and, allow us to find out and then we can find out if the factory wiring harness is any good. We don't know. We'll get back to it. Be right back with it. So, a few minutes later, we uh, got the wiring pulled out of the firewall, brought over here to the passenger fender. And Woody is actually buttoning up the last of the four switches that we, uh, that, oh, that light's terrible. Anyway, he's buttoning up the last of the four switches, and everything, again, will be started from underneath the hood. So, I think that's going to be about it for wiring on the car today. We need to do a little bit of pressure washing if we can get this thing up on the, up on the ramps. Uh, we did put transmission fluid in it last time, so we should be good to go um, and we'll get a little bit of footage of that for you um, but we just wanted to get this buttoned up out of the way so that we can move on to the next thing because the big goal is what What's go the... for a ride that's the big goal right there ladies and gentlemen get the car running get it to where we take it out on the road go enjoy some cars and coffee with it for a little bit work on it of course there will be a day that comes in the very near future where this car will probably be immobile for quite some time but we want to go have some fun with it so we'll get the wiring figured out we'll get it up and running we'll get it driving we're gonna have a good time we're gonna take you along with us fan runs sweet so here you see all the wiring that was crossed there's, yep fuel pump across the top of the motor all that yellow and purple and red and just mixture of just Someone did a really bad job with this. Uh. Drop a comment below if you can hear me. So why we might be getting a little bit of uh, smoke coming out of this filter here. So this is on a cold start. Don't know if that's concerning or not. Okay, so wiring part one of 987 million is complete. And as we mentioned before, we did get the car up on the ramps transmission fluid for the win yeah and Woody's under the car right now doing a little inspection before we do a little bit of pressure washing and let's take you guys up under here to see what we can see up under here now we got the rear tub exhaust just above the exhaust this is a fuel tank up there somewhere 
right there. Dirt dauber nests. Dirt dauber nests. What color is that spring? That spring's not colored. Oh, no. Spring's colored. But it's not too terribly dirty under here, but we've got a little bit of loose rust and stuff on some of the suspension components. So we're gonna get up under here with the pressure washer and see what we can see what we can see. And we're gonna bring you guys along with us for the pressure washing fun. And we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> All right, nice and clean underneath. Wasn't too bad, as Woody said. So I think what we're gonna do next is roll off the ramp. And as you notice, it's always safety first around here, kids. We got our chalks up front. And then we're gonna put the front up in the air, crawl underneath the car, and find out where our little transmission fluid leak is coming from. If I were to guess, it's coming from the pan. Drop a comment below where you think it might be coming from. Could be the car. See, you all see what we're dealing with here, right? No you got, you've got no lack of knowledge. Did and, I win? And utter incompetence. Come on, it'll <laughs> win. It's the car. It's got to be correct. What are you? What are you talking about? Where are the leaks coming from? The car. Yes. Uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes. I am proud of you. What do I get? What you get is a trip back underneath the car. Damn. <laughs> I didn't know how to play that. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and move this vehicle um, off the ramps on the back side, get them up on the front side. We're going to go take a look-see and uh, let you know, guys, uh, what we found. Um, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the chipmunk is back in her home. Uh, we did not successfully get the car up on the ramps inside the garage. Um, ramps were a little too slippery for the uh, smooth concrete surface. So we did jack the car up. Sorry, we didn't share that with you. But, um, we did find, uh, we found a, yeah, there's, there's the trail of trainee juice. It's not leaking much when it's just sitting, but when the transmission's under a load, it does kind of pee like a puppy, um, but that's okay. We did find the issue. I believe it's the issue, like I mentioned before, is the pan gasket for the transmission. If you notice, there was a bolt that was about to fall out of it. So I think that's where our leak's coming from. So we will have to attack that by dropping the pan. Um, yeah. Lose all that good juice that. Fuck that juice. Yeah. yeah AP, all that good juice that our, our buddy AP bought us last time into the into the drain pan but that's going to be about a wrap for today um, we did get a little bit done sorry it's not the most exciting video in the world but with these big projects we're going to run into a lot of different stuff and we're going to film as much as we can for you hey Woody yes sir we're saying bye no not say bye until next time see you later we love you and we'll see you in the next one. I'm a spectator.